G'day guys, you're about to experience a lot of fucking passion in this video, so buckle up. Bulletstorm is out on Friday, I am so fucking excited for that game. Ukulele is on the 11th of April, Deformers is on the 11th of April. After that, there's basically Disney Collection, which is out on the 18th of April. I played Darkwing Duck as a kid, so I'll pick that up when it comes out cheaply. The Surge is out on the 16th of May, and for some reason, below that is Prey, which is actually out on the 5th of May, so fuck knows why it's at the bottom. I just went over that first part really quickly, and right now I'm going to run some background trailers to other games that are coming out that don't appear here, because Xbox is all up the duff. And then at the end of the video, I'll actually run some trailers to games that I'm super fucking excited for, like The Surge, like Bulletstorm, and I'll probably also run Praise Trailer, as well as Ukulele, and maybe Sniper, which is out at the end of the month. But basically, I want to take a quick moment to talk about the actual fucking Xbox coming soon section of the store, because it fucking sucks. Right now, if you're watching this video and you're a PlayStation person or a Steam person and you're using those consoles and clients all the time, Please let me know what the coming soon sections are like on those stores, because in all honesty, if we take out like the two copies of Tekken, the three copies of Destiny, the two copies of South Park, the three copies of Shadow of War, the two copies of Morrowind, and on and on I could go, you end up with like fuck all games there man. All these double editions and triple editions and shit, they're not actual real games. So they shouldn't really count as a game in the coming soon section. And in all honesty, I'm fucking furious with Xbox. They've just released an update yesterday. So on top of having a fucking shitty coming soon section, and people that have been Xbox lifers as I call us, that have played nothing but Xbox since the Xbox launched, and have never experienced the PlayStations at all, we're all slowly, you know, I've noticed moving to PlayStation because PlayStation seem to care about games and what gamers want. For example, on the Xbox 360, I could boot it up now and have background network streaming music that plays in the background while I'm playing a video game, while I'm chatting to buddies, but on the Xbox One, like 900 odd days plus later, it's probably closer to a thousand days later, they still don't have that available to do. On top of the fucking not releasing that with this latest update, the latest update actually caused my console to fucking hard reset mid 4 on a game last night. I actually jumped back online and sent messages to the people and invited them to parties. One joined, one just sent a message back. It's like, I was apologizing because we were having a fucking awesome game where we had actually, i probably run a little thumbnail here for you, where I, we had actually revived each other a whole bunch and then, yeah, it was still going and it just disconnected. So, <laughs> like, why the fucking Xbox is hard resetting now? I got no idea, man. I'm over Xbox. So if you guys can tell me if the PlayStation Store and Steam, because I am open to going back to Steam permanently, I'm really interested in their coming soon sections. And especially if there's games like, I think Crackdown 3 will be an Xbox exclusive. I'm not 100% on that. But even that doesn't appear on the Xbox Store, man. And that's known to be out on like the 29th of December. Xbox.com like had a marketplace and the other day I was checking it it was the 29th of fucking December why isn't that in the coming soon section it's just it's like they're taking everything gamers want not giving it to us and not getting us excited about video games they want people paying for their bullshit subscription services to shitty quality streaming music or to fucking force features on people like Cortana which I'll never fucking use because I'm not interested in fucking if I'm talking with someone I don't want to stop mid sentence and be like Cortana yo record that fucking shit fuck that man and if you're one of those cunts that does that shit and you don't have the courtesy to fucking mute yourself Fuck you. Mute yourself when you're fucking gonna say, Oh, good time to record that shit. Fuck you. How did that even ever make it to a fucking console that's based around fucking party chats, dude? It makes no fucking sense. And on top of that, like, it's just, oh man, I could go on for days. You can hear I'm like passionate as fuck about the Xbox, man, and what they're doing and not bringing in. Like, now there's this fucking beam feature on the console, right? I don't want to ever fucking use Beam. What the fuck is Beam? It's fucking stream- Oh, streamy game. Fuck, man. You ever heard of Twitch? Hmm. Guess not. But yeah, let's- Let's fucking introduce Beam and have it on everybody's fucking console. 
let's make it so this latest update doesn't actually do anything different. It just makes people have to relearn the fucking button combinations and where every, not the button combinations, but where everything fucking is. So essentially, it is the button combinations you've got to relearn because doing stuff now with the buttons does it slightly differently. Pointless update. PlayStation, I don't think, does stuff like that. PlayStation, I'm pretty sure, from a guy that commented on one of the YouTube videos, I'm assuming they're a guy, I could be completely wrong there, so apologies if I am, Moga Smash, he was telling me PlayStation has background network streaming music. So that means if PlayStation have got background network streaming music, and I could listen to like my fucking heavy metal, my new age metal, my fucking, you know, jazz, my underground hip hop, all the shit that I'm not gonna fucking find on some bullshit quality forced app streaming service, that on top of that, people in different parts of the world still don't have like, you know, perfect speed LAN connection to the net. So that means while you're playing a video game, they're literally downloading shit which is slowing the connection down for everybody. It's just fuck, man. Like, do these fucking cunts that, like, are meant to be, oh, we're all about the video game. Do you even fucking have meetings about this shit and, like, literally think about it? Or is it all just about the profits for you fuckers? Because honestly, man, if it's about the profits, then where the fuck is the coming soon section of games? All these trailers that I've just shown here, why the fuck aren't they on the Xbox store? Anyway, I'm getting, like, pretty fucking, you know, passionate about this. But that should be the end of, like, the passion and enough of the trailers. And now I'm just going to play the cool trailers so you guys have something awesome to finish the video with. I'm going to play Ukulele first with its trailer because that's a platformer that I think there'll be, you know, some pretty cool shit in. It might be aimed at kids, I'm not 100% sure, but some of the platform games, man, like Cameo, they're just a lot of fun to play from time to time. And then I'm going to play uh, the Search because the surge really piques my curiosity. I saw a trailer for that and then it was instantly sort of appearing on this Xbox section after I'd already seen the trailer on fucking the net. Makes no fucking sense. Why wasn't it on the Xbox store first? Anyway, getting back to the fucking shit. Then I'll show you Prey. Prey I'm not too keen for, but I'm curious about it. It should have been a continuation, and I recognize the word Talos 1 from the very first time I read the description. That's from the original Prey games that, like, I believe introduced Portal before Portal was a real thing. And it had some other cool shit on top of, like, the whole Portal element. So, I'm a bit disappointed that it's not another title completely, like... Black Matter or Black Mass or they could have called it anything based on that cover. It has nothing to do with the original Prey and I would love to have seen Prey continued in its own fucking right as another game. So this should be something else entirely but it is a first person shooter, one of a few that are coming out according to the coming soon <laughs> section on the Xbox store. So based on that I'm going to probably give it a look. The other one that interests me a huge way is the Surge, so... Oh, and then, sorry if I've already said Surge, Bulletstorm, man, I'm so fucking keen. Bulletstorm on Friday, fuck yeah! That's gonna be an awesome game, man. If you ever played the original Bulletstorm and you're one of those people, you probably feel exactly the same. It was like such an underrated game, not a lot of people knew about it. I really, really hope they have a multiplayer mode in it. Not co-op, but like a multiplayer game mode, because... Titanfall 2 fucking sucks donkey dick. I don't care what you say. It's not Titanfall. It's Call of Duty with fucking bullshit battery collecting robots. So there's not really a big first person shooter out. The couple of third person shooters that are out at the moment, like Ghost Recon or, you know, whatever else you're wanting to bring into that equation, they're good. But I think something like The Surge might come in and like encompass or hopefully there's another third person shooter that's gonna really grab the community and i'm hoping it's the surge and i'm again not sure if prey will have a multiplayer either but honestly out of all the games coming out that i've seen like well into the distance taking south park out of it because it's a comedy game the only one that has my like fucking erection standing at attention is bulletstorm i literally can't wait to get my fucking hands on that so, anyway, that's a quick video. The trailers will play now. Sorry for all the passion and infusements, but that's generally how I feel as a gamer, and I'm sure there's some motherfuckers out there who feel the same. Regardless of what you motherfuckers that are going to comment, are going to be like, oh, fuck you, guy. 
And also, if you are going to comment, please, and you've played PlayStation or Steam, tell me what the coming soon sections are like in those clients and on that console, because I am really, really open-minded for the first time ever to PlayStation. As <laughs> in, in a couple of months, I could be making PlayStation videos, not Xbox videos. Sorry, Xbox, you've had a thousand odd days to introduce background network streaming music. You still haven't done it. The 360 still has it. Fuck you, Xbox. Anyway, enjoy these trailers, and I'll catch you next time. Once testing starts, there's no going back. Take your time, relax, think it over. No, I'm kidding. You only have nine seconds. Warning. This is a station-wide emergency. If just one of those creatures gets back to Earth, we're lost. The tests, they changed you. I'm sorry. I wish there was another way. Nothing can survive. Whenever you're ready, Morgan. Creo, you know who we are. Or at least you think you do. Creo is one of the world's largest manufacturers of consumer and industrial products. But we're so much more. Creo's not just a company, it's a way of life. Here you're not just seeing anybody, you're somebody. Somebody special. At Creo, we have your well-being at heart, and that includes body and mind. Implementation of our rigs, we've made you stronger, faster, tougher. So welcome to your new life as part of the Creo family.